hello, good morning. It feels like a long time since we've <laughs> been together, even though we see you guys every month. Um, I am a very excited to launch today's Tuesday Tea with some new products. Um, so this is gonna be a little bit unconventional. I'm not really gonna use the slideshow, um, but I did receive some larger samples of our brand new collection that I'm really excited to show you guys. So this, will, this whole collection, um, the Clever collection will launch on Thursday technically. So everything will be available to order and online. Um, but you guys are the first people anywhere to see this. So get very excited. Um, I am going to actually stop sharing my screen and pin my phone. Let's hope this works. Actually, maybe I'll make it a spotlight video. Is, is it the big screen for everybody? Awesome. Okay. Yeah. So uh, just a little background. So for Knoll Textiles, when we launch new products, we really like to launch collections. So a collection is going to have wall coverings, panel fabric, upholstery, drapery, and every single launch that we do. They really like it to kind of tell a story and really speak off of each other. So um, this is just like any other launch. We've got, oh gosh, I think there's 10 products in this collection, which is pretty exciting. Um, I like to start in the vertical surface. So I'm gonna start with two of our brand new Twilight Free vinyl wall coverings. So both of these, uh, the first one is Tangent. As you can hopefully see. Uh, the colors are a little bit muted in this one, but it's a very large scale graphic wall covering. Um, I'm not sure if you can see the details, but it has a little bit of a, um, a nice texture to it. Kind of foggy, there you go. Um, but I have seen the install images of this, which I don't have to share yet, but it is beautiful on a large wall. There's some really fun colors. Um, this is going to be $41 a yard. Um, it is washable. And so that is number one. That one was tangent. The next large graphic wall covering is fraction. Fraction, um, kind of the same colorways they sent for this one, but again, a very large kind of scale patterned wall covering. You can see some different tones and some textures and patterns in there. This is I, the names, oh my gosh, Fraction. It always takes me about a week to remember everything about these. Um, again, this one is going to be $41 a yard and um, Phylite Fruit Vinyl, which is good because it ha gets rid of some of the, the bad stuff that vinyl is known for. Um, so really trying to kind of push. Um, vinyl is great because it's easy to print on. The price points are just better to, to hit, um, but you, we still are really trying to kind of hit those um, environmentally friendly, conscious type things. So, Phylite Free, TPO, um, those are really good options. Uh, the next wall covering is um, both a wrapped panel and a wall covering option. This is called Formation. So, this is, um, it is more of like a, an olefin type wall covering. It, it looks really stripy on that camera, but it actually looks more of kind of a striation. It's coming in very dark, um, but just wall coverings, kind of neutral. Um, and that one, let's see the name again. Formation is going to be $29 a yard, and you can bleach that one. Yay, bleach. <laughs> the next option, or the next um, fabric wrap panel um, is going to be right angle. I hope this reads well, but this has kind of a nice little herringbone pattern to it. This one is a very neutral um, of the colorways. Right angle has um, seven color options, but this is a wrapped panel, so acoustically neutral. Whenever I say wrapped panel, it means it can be used as an acoustical wrapped fabric. Um, and this one is, right angle, is $29 a yard. So they sent really neutral stuff. They're, I'm excited to see all of the colorways, which are always a little bit more exciting. Um, 
the next one is pretty exciting because it's almost, it's pretty rare that we actually launch fabric wrap panels that are built for our systems furniture as well. It's been a while since we've kind of added to that collection. Um, if you guys were familiar with foundation, which was a very popular, very um, kind of solid, simple fabric, this is going to be a great new option for systems panels. This is Ponder. Um, this one, again, acoustically neutral. You can see through it. You can definitely blow through this one if you guys are into the blow test, <laughs> um, even though you want to have it tested by a third party, but a very simple, lightweight panel fabric, and that is $21 a yard. So it can go on systems furniture, but it can also go on fabric wrap panels. So if you are hiding speakers, if you're doing um, acoustically transparent options, this is a great option. Um, now, personally, my favorite stuff, upholstery and drapery. So drapery, we have one new drape this collection. It is a more, um, it's, I'm not sure if I would say it's light filtering. It's definitely kind of a sheer, um, but not super see-through, so maybe light filtering, um, but it has more of a pattern on it. So you can see here, it looks darker when I put it on, but when you lift it up, you can see it is fairly sheer, um, but it has kind of a, a geometric pattern in it. This one is kind of a navy blue color. This is Equation. So straight, kind of nice like that. Um, equation is $67 a yard and it is a double width. Um, double widths are great. If you want to, you can railroad it and you can get a really clean installation where you don't have to have a bunch of seams. So that's one of the great things and costs. You can always compare it. So if you're comparing costs between draperies, you can um, get more product for the price compared to a 56, 57, 60 inch width fabric. Now on to the upholstery. Uh, this is a brand new and it will be part of our KT collection, so under $40 or less. This is Topos. Topos is a bleach cleanable, velvet, chenille kind of fabric. If you're familiar with our fabrics, I think it's very similar to Summit, which is a really great kind of um, velvety, but this one has a little bit more plushness to it. It's really, really great. It has a waterproof backing on it. So if you, um, for cleaning and for maybe wet areas, you can use it for that too. Um, but that is Topos. And there is going to be quite a few colors in that one. Um, it's $32 a yard and there's going to be 16 colors. So that'll probably be a really nice addition to our collection. Uh, the next one is very subtle, beautiful, it is Buzz. So here it's kind of in a pink color. It has a very nice, um, it's a blend of wool, polyester, cotton, um, definitely has that wool feeling. Uh, it has little speckles of color in there, if you can see. So there's a little bit of burgundy and blue in this particular one, and that is Buzz. Buzz is going to be $55 a yard, <clears throat> so still pretty reasonable for that. Uh, the next one, uh, this might be my favorite of the new collection. Um, name, Tempest. I hope I'm saying that right. Tempest is, uh, it's, it's almost a boucle kind of construction, so uh, very tight weave, but a really good combination of colors. It reads really dark on here. It actually blends quite well. It's looking kind of black and white peppery, but um, this is really great and similar to if you are um, know our collection like Rebel, which is a very high seller of ours. Um, just a really good, you know, it's going to hide stains really well. It's going to blend in with a lot of different colors. When you kind of, you know, bring it into a palette, you can use it really easily. Um, and this one is going to have 
a 10 color way. So this also will be a really great new option. Um, and this one is a WS clean, so a water solvent um, cleaning solution on that, and it is $59 a yard. So pretty good pricing for that too. And the final, final one, probably a lot of people's favorite. <laughs> this is going to be, this is called Instep. Instep is a velvet, a plush velvet. It definitely has um, some weight to it. And then it has this really fun geometric pattern um, imposed on it. You can see this is more of a pink color, but it's got these little blue um, dots all over it. The colorways are really beautiful in this one. Um, there's only seven colors, but you're going to get some of those really kind of pale new hot colors in that. So that one is a little bit pricier. This is going to be 110 a yard, um, but the velvet, it's really beautiful. So that's the new stuff. Um, it's all I got. I didn't get any other colorways, but I wanted to show you guys so you could kind of start to see. Um, and all of this will be available to order samples of <clears throat> starting Thursday. Um, I'm sure it'll be on Material Bank by probably next week, maybe the following week. But if you have any questions or want to see any of the other samples, let me know. And I'm sure I'll be blowing up Facebook with it. I mean, Instagram with it. So <laughs> you don't want to see it block me. Um, but I am excited to share. So that is all I have today. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Almost as good as seeing them in person. Uh, almost. And if you guys go to Pumpkins in the Park, I'll have the samples there um, for you guys to see for sure. And we can finally touch and feel them. Yes. All right. So Buzzy Space is up next. Can you guys see my screen? Yes. Awesome. Okay, so this week I just wanted to share acoustic lighting with you guys. I thought that would be really good to kind of um, take a closer look at our lighting portfolio and really also just how it works, basically. I'll share a few basics. I don't want to go into too much technicality of it, but just share some reminders with you guys on lighting kind of 101. And then I was going to also share a new product, kind of a surprise. A sneak peek for you. And then as always, I'll share some of our tools and support items that are hopefully really useful for you guys, especially while working from home. So with lighting, you know, it kind of works like sound where it's going to affect our mood and productivity. So good lighting can help, you know, with better performance, it'll prevent tiredness, headaches, and really help increase productivity and improve overall well-being. So that's one of the reasons why we really focused on lighting at Buzzy Space is that's kind of what we do at our core. We kind of look at it as a three-in-one solution. So it ties in acoustics, lighting of course, and then aesthetics. So we do have a wide range of pendant lights, floor lamps, chandeliers, where acoustics and light and aesthetics all work you know, really well in harmony. So I always try to remind designers, you know, think of addressing acoustics with lighting solutions as well early on, um, just so you, you're not thinking of acoustics just as an afterthought. And then I'm not going to go into all the technicalities. I've, I've shared this in previous presentations with acoustics, but just know that sound does work differently. It's, it's going to have different tones. So you're going to have your high tones, your mid tones, and your low tones. And our lighting fixtures basically work the same way as our acoustic products. So some will address high tones better than low tones, vice versa. So it's just something for you guys to be aware of. We'll have performance, these little icons on our cut sheets, just like we do on all of our other acoustic products. And then the same acoustic principles that apply to our acoustic products also go for our lighting as well. So our lighting is made from absorptive high density foam or felt, and it's gonna attenuate by trapping sound um, with the shape of the shade. And depending on the style, it's likely going to help diffuse the sound as well. So the sound is spread more evenly throughout the space. So this is our holy trinity. So if you 
you know, forget everything else. Just remember these three things. So the density of the acoustic light is going to be important. That's going to be basically how porous it is. So the more porous, the better it's going to absorb. The size is going to matter. So the bigger it is, the more acoustic um, surface it has, obviously. And then the shape is also going to come into play in how it diffuses and, and how it performs. So this is a really important slide. So very good to know. So the upholstered shades are going to perform differently than the felt. So the upholstered shades, because they have that high density foam, they're going to address um, the three different tones more effectively than like a thinner material of our felt, where it's gonna address just uh, mid and high tones. So just something for you guys to kind of keep in mind. This is a really cool graph just showing how our acoustic lighting compares in just the felt category. So these are all of our felt light fixtures. And you'll see, although they're made up of the same material, they actually really vary in performance because of one of those principles, whether it's the shape or perhaps the size. So obviously you'll see our fuzzy shade extra large on top there. It's the sheer size of that fixture that's making it a better performer than the other fixtures. And same goes with the upholstered lighting. You'll see our buzzy ZEP. If you guys um, recall, the ZEP is a huge sort of linear fixture, and that's obviously the highest performer just because of the size. So a uh, little tip for you guys there. And then just a few basics. These are good reminders, uh, just so, you know, looking at lighting specs, you don't get overwhelmed. The three principles that are really good to be aware of are the lumens, the Kelvin, and the Lux. So your lumens is going to be your overall lighting output. So you'll see here the lumen output of our moon is roughly 2,500. The lux, that is what the illuminance is. So it's the amount of light hitting a particular surface and how great of a surface area is being illuminated from the source. So the lux is actually going to vary depending on the height that you mount it from. So just know that we do have graphs in our catalog or illustrations, I should say, which give you recommendations of how high you should mount the fixture depending on the lux that you need. And then temperature. So all of our fixtures are offered in the 3000 Kelvin, so that's going to be a nice warm light. There's a ton of stuff I could talk about <laughs> with the color temperature and sort of how it affects our um, circadian rhythms, but I won't get too into that. But just know your, your bright, cool light is going to be more daylight you know, warmer light is going to be around 3000. It really depends on sort of the type of setting you want as well. And I can get, you know, go into further detail uh, with that, uh, probably at a longer presentation, but that's why it's a good reminder to sometimes turn off your laptop or your phone screen or put it on like a, a night level so it, it doesn't affect your circadian rhythm. And then CRI, this is a really good one. So this is how realistic um, or natural and objects going to appear under the light source. So a higher CRI is going to be a better quality light, more um, uh, basically a closer match to the original color. All of our light fixtures do have a 90 or higher. And then just to quickly kind of go over the the lamps that are integrated in our lights. We do have a ton of acoustic light fixtures, but it's actually pretty simple because we use the same lamp in many of them. There's basically just three. So the globe and the LED spot is the lamp that's integrated into these fixtures at the bottom here. You'll see like on the specs, I talked about the CRI, I talked about the temperature. So those are just some things to be aware of when you spec. The difference of the sole and the spot, the sole is going to be more of a diffuse light. You can see that light on the surface there versus the spot, and that's going to be more directional. So depending on what type of lighting you're looking for, you can specify accordingly. And this is just a look at them integrated into our shade. This is actually a special exception because the shade extra, extra large actually does have our disc light uh, mounted in it just because the scale of it is so huge. And then just going on quickly, so then we do have the LED disc. This is roughly 18 inches. I know you guys probably don't know um, centimeters, 470. This disc is integrated into these five fixtures there. Slightly smaller one for the hat. And then we do have one linear in our line, and that's just integrated into the Buzzy Zap, which comes in two different sizes. It's actually pretty simple. And then, of course, materiality. We do have the 12 felt colors that you guys are all, all probably familiar with. We have a ton of different fabrics in our gradient collection. This is just a snapshot of, if you want yellow, you automatically have 
nine, you know, just grade in selections that you can pick from. So it makes it really easy for you to pick the right color for your project. A couple takeaways I'll share, I'll make sure to upload on our um, YouTube channel. This is just kind of a cheat sheet on all of our decorative lighting. And we say decorative because this is gonna have a lower lumens output of about 1500. Not the best type of light to put above like work surfaces unless you specify several of them. And then we have the functional uh, lighting options. This is a great takeaway. Like I said, I've added the lead times of these, the starting list, and then the line drawing actually links you to the product page where you can find the specs and all of that. So I'm almost out of time. So I just wanted to share the Buzzy Trom, which is launching next month. This is basically all the photos I have of it. So it's really interesting. It's made of two layers of felt, kind of similar to the shade, kind of similar to the jet. So it also comes in the three different sizes and you can specify the single felt color or a dual felt color. And then I kind of highlighted where you can find, again, the acoustics and the lighting uh, specifics on each of them, like in the catalog. And then you guys know our website is, you know, wealth of knowledge. Don't forget we have the configurator. This is really good, especially if you're working from home. This is going to help you figure out what materials are available on what fixture. So you can go through, make your selection on the different finishes available. And then what's great is you can actually export it as specifications. You can export it as CAD, a Revit file, whatever you need, and then save it as your specs. Pretty cool. And then we have our Buzzy Academy coming up on the 22nd. So you can register on our website. Just let me know if you need more info on this, but it's going to focus on basically the future ways of hybrid working. We've got four different uh, sessions on that, all 30 minutes. So I'm going to stop there though. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully you learned a little bit about lighting there. And if you ever need more specifics, just let me know. It's a big topic. Thank you, Mary Beth. Thanks, Mary Beth. All right, everybody. I'll be quick. I know we're running out of time today. Um, but we've got some new colors that we launched on some of our LVTs. So um, walk on by and studio set. These are two collections that have been out, but we've extended the color lines. So really excited to share these with you today. Um, you guys are actually the first to see them. Um, so we added this cool red. So this fun confetti um, was really the inspiration behind the pattern of this collection. Um, and we added more color. So there's red, there's this really beautiful violet that you can see here. Also yellow. And then these are all the colorways. So it comes in like a monochrome. Um, this is kind of a multicolor. And then here's all the new colors. So there's this really pretty teal, a royal blue, um, violet, red, orange, and yellow. Um, and samples are available. It's up on our website as well. And then Studio Set is another one where we've extended the color lines. So you can see kind of, it's like a water striation almost. It looks kind of like wood, but without um, any of the knots in it. Um, and here you've got another photo of, of kind of the walk on by. And this is our new Scorpio. This is kind of a sneak peek that this is coming soon. Um, but it is available. So if you do want samples, let me know. And then this is all the colors uh, for studio set. So I'm really in love with all the different um, greens and teals and blues that we've added to the collection. Um, there's this great deep fuchsia pink that's really pretty and a violet. Um, so again, samples are available and it's up on our website. Um, it's like all of our other LVT, it does have an acoustic backing on it and you don't need any transition strips from either of these LVTs to our carpet tile. And then a couple other um, images showing the different colors. So again, you've got that fuchsia, violet, and uh, royal blue. And this is just a neutral pebble, which you can also see here with silver lights and the violet. And then Embodied Beauty, this is launching this month. Actually, next week, you guys might receive an e-blast uh, from me um, with this collection launching. And it should be up on the website next week as well. Um, if you do want samples, I can get them to you now. Um, 
And this is our first uh, carbon negative carpet tile. So a couple of these patterns are uh, carbon negative, um, noted in this symbol here. So she show stitch um, in jadeite, that's gonna be one of the carbon negative ones as well as uh, shishu stitch. And then here you've got uh, Simple Sash and in Indigo, and this is partnered um, with our Walk of Life um, LVT. And then Chishu Stitch again in Shade with the Herringbone pattern. And then here you've got Zen Stitch, and this one again is carbon negative. And then you've got Geisha Gather, um, which is gonna be very textural. You're gonna have high loop and low loop pile in this pattern. Um, and then Zen stitch again. And then this simple sash, which is gonna be kind of a woven texture with a little linear stripe in it. And then here's Geisha Gather again um, in indigo. And then vintage kimono and color coal. And then just wanted to share some install uh, photos and some inspiration with you guys as well, just to see what people are doing with our products um, and maybe even in some different segments as well. So. Here's some hospitality install images um, with our carpet tile. Um, we've also been doing a lot of um, area rugs um, underneath the beds in hospitality and then maybe a different carpet tile or an LVT throughout the rest of the space. So here you can kind of see, um, see two different installation methods with that. Um, this is our Collins Cottage from Floor. Um, really, really beautiful design. Um, great for corridors as well. Um, and then here you're seeing that area rub with the LVT, which is really popular in hospitality right now. Um, and then just some different carpet tile designs, more of like a fun modern look versus more of a, a classic traditional, something that does look like broad loom in the space. And then here's more of a corporate installation. Um, and this is um, Actually, um, Urban Nature from Floor, it also uh, coordinates with Urban Retreat on the interface side. So same product, just different colorways on the floor side and the interface side, but you can blend them together as, as you can see here. And then this is more um, installation images from the same um, project. So they definitely used accent colors for wayfinding and different departments of the space. And then here's a really fun corridor. So this is the Liberty Hotel in Europe. Um, and they did our carpet tile down the corridors with our LVT. Um, and again, that shows the no transition, which is really nice and gives you a lot of versatility. And then our focus palettes, which you can also find these on our website, are really to help inspire you. Um, I really love um, all the different installs that they show. Really, you can do large scale patterns with our products maybe wayfinding to help um, accent the doorways and things like that. This is really great for hospitality and multifamily. And then this one's all inspired by London. Um, so kind of more of that fun piano key patterning, um, maybe a herringbone again with like doing the accents around the doorway <laughs> and different fades like that. Um, and something I always like to share about our products is it does come with a natural antimicrobial layer called Intercept. It's 100% bio-based, it's coconut oil-based, and it's low toxicity, less than table salt. And it really um, supports the overall wellness of your space. Um, so you can see the testing that we've done of our competitors' products versus ours. Um, it really helps support against um, growth of mold and mildew. Um, great for multifamily housing and just really great for workplace. Now, now that um, we are gonna be more cautious about well-being, I think in all spaces, um, this is really, really important. And then our Interface Design Studio, um, it's a free rendering service that we provide for you. So please take advantage of it. You can send me um, a JPEG. This was actually taken on a job site walk um, where they were re uh, refreshing the corridors. Um, so we can take out the existing and put in what you wanna propose um, to replace it with. And we also can do um, complete floor plan renderings and estimates for you. So if you do have some complicated wayfinding or patterns that you wanna create, we can definitely help with that. And then um, if you missed last month, we have created the first carbon negative carpet tile. So the backing is called Sequest Bio Backing. 
that is available uh, this month. Um, and that collection, Embodied Beauty, that is launching is the first carbon negative uh, carpet tile collection, where this backing will be standard on some of those products. Um, you can specify this backing on any of our products. Um, there is no minimum and no upcharge. So if, if you have um, a project where you are going for zero net energy or lead points, um, this will really get you above and beyond um, what's really out there in the market. And then this is where we are today. We have the lowest carbon footprint in the industry. So this is all of Interface's products today and where we are versus our competitors. So um, we are a mission-based company. We've, we're very passionate about sustainability and leading the industry to love the world is our motto. Um, so if you wanna dive deeper into sustainability with me, I'm happy to set up a separate presentation with you and your team. Um, we do have some CEU presentations on um, our climate take back mission. And then that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. And um, we have um, a couple things coming up this month. We have the pumpkins and products in the park on October 23rd in Culver City. And we have a virtual um, pumpkin design competition on October 27th. So hope you guys can um, join us for one of those or both of those um, events coming up soon. Um, but we always love to see you guys and thanks for giving us your time today.